Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachaha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth. All right. The 144,000, which is 12,000 men out of each of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, as well as the one third uh, <clears throat> men, women, and children who are allotted to receive salvation in these last days. All right. Um, this video here should be uh, pretty quick. Um, spirit hopped on me. I was here reading and um, <clears throat> the book of Philippians in particular the third chapter and uh from the 13th verse to the end um you know i think paul put it in in in, in proper perspective of this walk um in this calling that we have um and everything we need we can find in the scriptures you know, as far as spiritual motivation, inspiration, um, because we're we're all hoping to be found worthy. All right, when Yahweh Shai returns, that we can stand before Him. All right, and and have a clear conscience, and say that we we've, we've done what Thou has told us to do. You know. And not be ashamed when he appears. Because there's going to be a lot of Israelites. I'm talking about Israelites that know that they're Israelites. That, are, that, 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 will, that will be very ashamed. When Yahweh Shai uh, returns. Because he's going to see that shame. Matter of fact, let me get that. Um, real quick. Okay. Let me pull that up. And the shame that a lot of our, uh, you know, Israelites that know that they're Israelites, um, they're going to be ashamed because of the things that they've done the doctrine that they have purposely uh, taught the deceiving of their congregation oh yeah they will be ashamed all right uh, let me see if this is the one well this is a good one all right the shame of our necklace our nakedness uh, shall not appear. I'm going to read this one first, but there's another one. All right. Um, this is, uh, I counsel thee to, to buy of me gold tried in the fire. That thou, uh, Rev. Salaki, Revelation 3 and 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. That thou mayest be rich. All right. As it is written in uh, Zechariah the third, we're going to be, uh, Try that's gold in the fire, all right. And white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, all right. And this is what this knowledge has done to us the tribulations, the the uh, you know, the, the perils that we've encountered throughout our walk, and we're still uh, pressing on towards that mark, pressing on. Uh, in this higher calling that we're a part of, all right? We've, we've remained clothed with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right? We haven't uh, been broken, so to speak, by the, the perils, by the persecution, all right? It says, and that, the, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, because we all... We're out here at naked at one point in time of our life. All right. But this knowledge has clothed us. 
Now our shame ain't being seen. Why? Because we believe in this knowledge. We believe in the, the Messiah, the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, that he has those uh, sins covered. All right? And anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. And that's what Yahweh Shai has done to us that truly believe that are walking and pressing towards the mark of this higher calling. All right? We truly are, but you have, like I said, you have other Israelites in whom their shame shall be seen, okay? Or thy nakedness. Let me put that in. Let me look that up real quick. There's going to be a lot of naked Israelites out here, man. Let me see. No, let me go there. It might be in the same chapter. That's what it is. His garments. And the Lord see not. Yep, that's it. Revelation, the 16th chapter. This is the one I wanted. Um, let's go here. Now, those that haven't kept their garments, all right, um, they're going to be walking naked out here like those Israelites, out, different Israelite groups out there that's teaching their congregation false doctrine, all right? And the main false doctrine that they're teaching is that the MOTB, all right, uh, Revelation 13 and 16 is not talking about the RFID uh, micro C-hip technology. They're telling you that it's sin, uh, sleeping with white women, you know, all manner of madness other than what it is. All right, just like they did when they rolled out the potion. They was telling you, go ahead and take it if you want to keep working. Uh, General Johanna said, you're going to take the uh, micro C-hip if you want to eat. All right. And clearly the scriptures are speaking about that being the MOTB. That has to be it. All right. There's not, that is it. Ain't no, has, that's the MOTB, what they're promoting. All right. With the CBDC, um, according to Richard Warner, all right, was informed by an insider. He was informed by one of the elite bankers because he's a central banker, all right, that the CBDC is about as small as a, right, a grain of rice and it shall go under the skin, all right? And he's done a, a few interviews telling people that this is their plan all right but you got guys out here that's completely uh naked and that shame will be seen when Yahweh Shai returns let's go revelation 16 15 behold i come as a thief blessed is he that watches what are we watching for the prophecies the prophecies that are coming to pass and are going to come to pass all right in these times that we're living in all right and keepeth his garments. What are your garments? This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right? This is why Yahweh Shai said in Revelation, the second chapter, hold that which, and that which ye have, hold fast till I come. All right? You got to hold fast to this knowledge. Okay? Um, it says again from the top, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked. All right, and that's you gonna you gonna find out a lot of Israelites is truly out here walking naked with fancy garments on. All right, you are gonna find a lot of Israelites that know that they are Israelites are truly out here butt ass naked with fancy garments on, and they see his shame. All right, and you're saying all of you that. 
that that you you trying to build something here in Babylon. All right, you then took the bag. All right, you you think that uh, teaching this word is a, is a comedy show. You know, to and, and to make yourself look uh, good, man. The Lord is gonna show your shame. Okay. He's going to show your shame and, and you're going to be destroyed out here when the missiles come. All right. So now let's go back to the main um, scriptures I wanted to br I wanted to read through the spirit, which, like I said, Paul laid it out clearly. And even here at the top of the chapter, it says <clears throat> the goal of life. All right. And I'm going to jump straight down to the point. And, um, you know, Lord will, you know, through the spirit, more precepts come to mind. And, um, you know, you are edified, motivated, and inspired to continue on this on this uh, righteous path Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has put us on. All right? Because we don't have long, man. All right, we just got to remain faithful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, no matter what. All right, we've lost things, and we, we, we you just got to let them go in this in this walk and, and, and press and reach onto those things which are before us. And the main thing that's before us is the kingdom of heaven. All right, being delivered, uh, even. This tribulation period we're getting ready to go to, go through, all right? This is what's before us, okay? And we want to get that behind us so that the next thing after that, all right, is the kingdom, salvation, okay? Righteousness in the planet Earth. This is the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. It says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind, all right? And the things that we've lost, the things we've gone through while we've been in this knowledge, whether you've been in six months, whether you've been in five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, you know, we put things behind us like Paul is saying, all right? Paul said, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth onto those things which are before. Okay? Because we on a mission, brethren. All right? The mission is not over until we are safe and secure in those ships. That's when the mission's over. That's when we can truly exhale, so to speak. That's when we can truly say, that the Lord has remembered us and saved us. Okay? Uh, verse 14, it says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Now, don't get it confused. This word mark is not the same as the mark in Revelation, the 13th chapter. Okay? This word mark is scopos. All right, which goes back to uh, Scopeo, all right? Scopos. Let's look at what it says. An observer, a watchman, okay? The distant mark looked at. What's the distant mark looked at for us? Salvation, the kingdom of heaven, okay? The goal or end one has in view. That's the whole, that's the mark we looking to. Okay, and you scopeled on it. Okay, because when you look up, let me see if we could find the actual scopeo. Let me see. This is scapto. All right, which means to dig. All right, which, you know, we're digging. So we can get to the end thing, the end of what's in view for us. Uh, Skipasma which means a covering, speck, clothing, 
okay? A derivative of skepos, a covering perhaps akin to the base uh, G4649 through the idea of noticeableness, clothing or raiment, all right? So let's go back. And let's go down here to the uh, uh, different, um, you know, the lexicons. Uh, Strong's definition, it says, scopos from scope to my, uh, to peer about, to be skeptic, to peer about, meaning, you know, our, our focus is on this. Uh, uh, the end, all right? Through the idea of concealment, compare G4629, a watch, sentry, a scout, all right? And that's what we're doing. We're scouting out this place, watching with our, with our mind set towards the end of this thing, all right? By implication, a goal, a mark, all right? And our goal is to, to get through this thing, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by any means necessary, focused, okay? <clears throat> um, so let's go back, read it again. It says, I press toward the mark for the the prize, all right, let's look up that word prize. The prize of the high calling, all right, the prize. It says, the award to the victor in the games, a prize, metaphor of the heavenly reward for uh, uh I'm going to just say, I don't like saying that word Christian, but the heavenly reward for Christian character, all right, for the Israelites of the elect, the heavenly reward that we have coming, all right? And what's that reward? Let's go, Salakia. Let's go to Second Ezra. All right, and I believe it's the second chapter. Yeah, Second Ezra chapter two. Um, and I'm gonna start at. I'm gonna start at thirty-seven. All right. Actually, thirty-six. Let me see. Matter of fact, 35, okay? Yeah, 35, all right, it says, 2nd Ezra 2, 35, be ready to the reward of the kingdom, okay? For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad giving thanks unto him that have called you to the heavenly kingdom. All right. Exactly what Paul is talking about in Philippians, the third chapter, it says, arise up and stand behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. And this is what we read in our Revelation. All right? Being clothed in white. Um, it says, the number of thy children, meaning being made pure. All right? It says, the number of thy children, whom, the, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed, all right? 
And the people that have been called from the beginning are the Israelites, beginning with the elect, the sons of God, all right? And daughters, okay? It says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon one of and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. This is the reward that we're looking to receive, all right? So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, okay, and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms, okay? And, and said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? He answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, Shai, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, okay? And this is what's coming. This is the reward that Paul is talking about here in the book of Philippians, the third chapter, all right? This is that reward that we're, that, that we're uh, pressing towards, all right? So going back, Philippians 3, 14, I press toward the mark, for the prize of the high calling of the Most High Yahweh in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right? Because we've all been called, and this calling has been from on high. Matter of fact, when we go back here to the Apocrypha, let's go to the book of, uh, I believe it's Wisdom of Solomon. Let me see, I believe it's the seventh chapter. See the seven or six. Let me see. Um, scripture say uh, the high calling, right? It's got to be the sixth chapter. I don't see it. Because this high calling, strict, it came from the heavens. All right? Let me see. A pure influence flowing from the Almighty. Let me get that. I'm going to type that in. Pure influence. for only okay it is the seventh chapter 25th verse all right um it says for uh let me start let me go look at the whole chapter six yeah here we go all right uh start at 24 okay Wisdom of Solomon 7, 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness, for she is the breath of the power of the Most High, Yahweh, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no undefiled thing fall into her. All right? Now, this pure influence, let's look up this word, influence. Okay, let's look this up real quick, and then we're gonna go back to Philippians, and we're gonna look on, we're gonna look up the word high. All right. I gotta hurry up. I gotta get out here to the camp. Um, influence. Okay. It says in astrological uh, term. It says streaming, uh, 
ethereal or ethereal power from the stars when in certain positions acting upon character or destiny of men okay so our influence into this knowledge is strictly from Yahweh by Shimei Shai. all right literally uh uh a stream, an invisible stream from the heavens, man. Okay? It says, emanation from the stars that acts upon one's character and destiny, also flow of water, of flowing in. And that's, what's, that's what happens when, when we're out on the highway and byways, when we're uh, teaching this word, whether we're doing a sit down or, or whether we just you know, amongst one another, speaking on the scriptures, there's a flow that's coming from the heavens, all right, which is the Holy Spirit that the angels give us when we teach this thing, man, okay? This is that high calling, um, a flowing in from Latin influ influentum, okay, to flow into, stream in, pour in, okay? You know how you stream a movie, all right? How does that stream get to your your uh, your phone or your iPad or your TV? It got to come through a signal, okay? This is why you have your Wi-Fi signals. Well, the most high, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's old technology, all right? And we are those uh, signals. We're all, we're the antennas that the Lord is streaming into and pouring into this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay? That high calling, all right? Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. You, sh you should get the gist of it. Now, let's go back to the book of Philippians, the third chapter, okay? Now, that word high, where we at? The Hebrew word is, oh, it's a Greek word, actually. Ano, or ano, which means above, up, high, the brim. Okay, it says up, upwards, above, on high, of the quarters of the heaven, northward, of countries, inland, nope, nope, of time, formerly. Okay, so this is that influence that's coming from above the high calling um upward or on the top above brim high or up all right we're literally being streamed into from the heavens okay this is our high calling all right and we give diligence to make our calling and election sure all right so let's read on, finish this out. It says, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of the Most High Yahweh in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, the Most High Yahweh shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, all right, we've already attained what? This knowledge. It's all about persevering and enduring hardness now, all right? We have already attained this high calling, okay? This is why we, we, we present ourselves as being uh, so diligent, all right? We present ourselves as that living sacrifice that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is using to, 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 to fetch his elect. All right? It says, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an end sample. Okay? Because... This, this circle is a small circle, and Paul's going to speak about 
those that don't walk according. They truly enemies of the cross of the Hamashiach. Let's read. For many walk of whom I have told you often, because there are many Israelites out there. Many are walking. All right? It says, of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Okay? You got a lot of enemies of the cross out there with garments on. All right? You got a lot of them. It says, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly. I mean, just look at them. Look at what they're doing and how they're moving and, and uh, operating on the planet. It's not in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man, if your eyes are truly open, if you have attained this high calling, all right? And whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things, all right? For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, all right? And that's why I read 2nd Ezra's, uh, the second chapter, all right? The ones that's going to receive the reward have confessed Yahweh Shai, all right? Openly, out there. Okay? It says, who shall change our vile body, and this is part of that reward, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. This is that reward that we are pressing towards that prize all right that paul spoke of, that paul spoke about here in the 14th chapter all right and we we were on the way we are on that right path and lord will to the end just keep pressing and no matter what all right stick on the path like you have seen in a uh, golden child don't drop the water Stay on the path. And the water in our case is this knowledge. Don't drop it. Don't get to teaching false doctrine. All right? Don't get to teaching a uh, doctrine of hating your brethren, hating those the men that taught you. You've, you've, you drop the water and you are gone off of the path when you do such things. All right? And in that scene on uh, the golden child, you fall into the abyss, darkness, all right? And that's what you don't want. So I'm going to end it there. I got to get out here to the camp. Lord will, um, this was uh, edifying to the hopeful elect, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and we on to the next video. Shalom.